Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Denise, if you're new here, my page is strictly about natural hair care, business, and just lifestyle in general, and all things positive because that's who I am. So if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy this video and share it to somebody who- Well, today I wanted to come and give you guys my top five tips on hair growth. I already have a video on here, but it's from two years ago, I think. And I've learned more. That's one thing you'll learn about on your journey. You'll learn new information. Things will change and information will be updated. So I wanted to give you guys my new top five tips to natural hair care. And I'm sorry if I sound like Dark Vader and my eyes is like kind of glassy. I got a hot toddy here. I don't feel that great, but I definitely wanted to come and give you guys this video before I start feeling any worse. I would like to get to know what the could be. What kind of girl be so my number one tip to growing your hair, I would say length retention and moisturizing it. There are two different things, but they're kind of like one in the same because if you're properly moisturizing your hair, you will be retaining your length because you're not getting all that unnecessary breakage. Um, my next tip would be to have yourself a regimen. Like you have to put your hair on a regimen. You have to train it. Like I know you guys have seen videos of girls with certain types of hair. I don't type my hair because it can be more than just one texture. So I don't see the point in that. But anyways, find yourself a good regimen. By regimen, I mean, what is the routine that you have for your hair, if that makes sense. Like I'll just give you guys an example of what mine is. Like I said, I'll do leave-in every day. Cause a leave-in to me, depending on how heavy or light it is, that's something that you can put into your hair every day for daily moisture. I put oil in my scalp three times a week. I don't do it as consistently as I should. Let's be real here. Sometimes we just forget. But majority of the time, three times a week, I'm oiling my scalp. I'm spraying water on it. I do the LCO method, which is leave-in, a cream, and an oil. I use a leave, I use hot water, a leave-in, a daily moisturizer, and then I go in with my oil and I'll braid it up, twist it up, put it up in a pineapple and wrap it up completely. Whatever I need to do just to make sure that my hair is nourished and it's moisturized and it's not breaking off because it's dry. I can barely breathe while I'm talking. I am pushing through this child because I really want y'all to get this information because I feel like I put a lot of information on my TikTok, but I know it doesn't matter how many videos I put out. TikTok is what, eight to 15 second videos. So you probably can't just grasp everything and it be like muscle memory to you when it's new to you. So I'm more than happy to give you guys an open video. I'll even start trying to go live so you guys can get on the live and ask me questions and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. So um, my next tip would be, so what did I say? Moisturizing your hair, that's number one. Length retention, we can go back to length retention a little bit, just to talk, excuse me, just to talk about it a little bit more. Like there's a, I have a video on my page showing you guys how I practice length retention, not only moisturizing my hair, but protecting my ends. That's practicing length retention. Because let's be real, your hair is growing every day on a consistent basis. But are you taking care of your hair to retain that length? Nine times out of 10, you're not. And don't feel bad about it, especially if you're new on the journey to taking care of your hair and trying to grow it out. Because when I first start uh, taking care of my hair, I was using any products that YouTube recommended for me, even though they weren't really good for my hair, I was using them incorrectly. Like I would take a shower and wash my hair and put a curling custard on there and just think that was it. 
Maybe somebody with a different texture of hair and different porosity can do that, but I can't do that. That does not fit for my hair. So you literally have to, it's a journey. That's why I call it the natural hair journey because it's a process. You have to find what works for you and do the techniques that work for you. So I'm just putting it out there because honestly, as many YouTube videos have, as I have watched about natural hair, I never really see nobody with my hair texture. It's always like a, and that's, it's nothing wrong with that. So I'm not being shady to nobody. I'm not talking about nobody specifically. I'm just speaking of my experience. When I would watch YouTube videos, I really rarely seen people with my type of hair texture specifically. So that's what made me really want to start like putting content out there. Cause I mean, I do my hair every day. I research this stuff. This is what I am passionate about. So that's why I start even putting out content. But anyways, let's reel it back because I'm a talker and I will just keep going and going, child. And ain't nobody here to stop me. So, <laughs> so we're gonna reel it back. I don't even remember what I was talking about. Where was we at? Lymph retention, yes. So I have a video showing myself how I practice lymph retention, twist, braiding my hair and twisting my hair up the hair shaft to make sure that my ends are protected because that is lymph retention. So if you guys want, I'll link that video here. If you guys are new and haven't seen it yet, if you have, then you already know what I'm talking about, which, welcome back, sis. But anyway, so my next tip would be to minimize heat. Now, this is a tip that I am going to also start to incorporate. I have for the last two months. I haven't really, well, like the last month, I haven't really used any heat. Now, I haven't flat ironed my hair since the summertime, and it's now January, and I'm going to try my best not to straighten it again anytime soon because I just want to start practicing more uh, natural hairstyles because I know how to do hair. I'm just going to have to start like letting my creativity flow a little bit to do styles that I like other than flat ironing my hair. So whenever people say minimize heat, that goes for your blow dryer as well. I didn't think that when I was first starting off, Oh, minimize heat, okay, they mean like the flat iron. I'll just blow dry my hair, you know, flat iron my hair on the lowest on the lowest temperature. No, sis, try to cut cut it all out. And if you must blow dry your hair, like me sometimes, I in order for me to stretch my hair and get it like really stretched how I want it to be, I have to blow dry. And if that's the case, get you a blow dryer that can blow dry on a cool setting. And make sure even when you do it on the cool setting, you use a heat protector. Because I've noticed, like, when I blow dry my hair, like, I'll wash it and detangle it. You shed some hair there. Then I'll blow dry it, and I would still shed hair there. Then you're sectioning it off and putting it into braids and twists and shedding hair there. I At some point, all of that hair wasn't meant to be pulled from my head. Like... It, it, it's just so many steps to it and it's not as complicated maybe as I'm making it sound but as you continue on your journey you will find what works for you but try to minimize the heat if you must blow dry your hair like I said sometimes I do have to blow dry my hair depending on what type of style I'm going for and another tip that I have and this I mentioned this in my other video from two years ago and I'm gonna stick beside it because I know the results that I've seen with it. Like I have some pictures from a year ago of my hair. It's way thicker. It was already thick, but it's way thicker and it's way healthier. But we're gonna take it back because I, I will get lost in my words. I will just keep going and going. But so low manipulation hairstyles. This is a low manipulation hairstyle. I literally did nothing but moisturize it, put some oil in there, and wrap this thing around there. And tonight when I go to bed, I'm probably just gonna pull this up and pull it all the way over and go to bed with my pineapple completely covered up so my hair off. Actually, I'll do something silk because this is a Jersey knit head wrap, so I'll probably do 
this same thing with something silk and just wrap it up so my hair isn't being pulled any type of way. So yes, low manipulation hairstyles. So high ponytail, low ponytail with your hair in a bun. It's a whole bunch of different low manipulation hairstyles that doesn't require you to do as much to your hair. That's literally all it is, is doing less to your hair for more of, more to retain more of your length. So you're not putting it in super tight ponytails, super tiny like the lemonade braid era. That was cute, right? But all those little tiny braids, that, that's not good for your hair. That's not good. And I know y'all know that that wasn't good for y'all hair because when y'all go to take them little braids out, you could see the bulbs of your hair at the end coming out when you was combing them. That's not good. Like, literally just pulling And them. another tip that I have is be patient, guys. And this is probably my last tip. I don't know how many tips I've given you guys so far. But we can talk. Like, I, this is what I like to talk about. We can talk about this all day. But my last tip is be patient with your hair, guys. Like, I don't think there is one product out there that you'll put into your hair tonight or any pill out there that you'll pop tonight and tomorrow when you wake up, you'll be Rapunzel. It's not happening. Everything takes time. Everything takes patience. So be patient with your hair, and I promise you, if you give it the tender love and care that it oh so deserves, you will. it will take care of it, and it will take care of you. It'll flourish. I promise it will flourish. But you have to be patient with it. You have to tend to it. Like, you can't do your hair one day out of the week and just lay around with it all matted down for two weeks. And then when you go to detangle it and you see all your hair falling out, now you claiming that you have a shedding problem, but you haven't combed your hair in two weeks, which we have our depressive episodes and that's totally understandable. But just understand your hair and learn how to properly take care of it and I promise it will grow. All right, now this is my last and final tip. Are you using enough product when you're doing your hair? Hmm? are you? You're still putting a dime size amount of leave-in conditioner for all of this hair? Are you really? Like, come on, sis. That was one of my problems, too, when I first really jumped into, okay, this is my hair. I'm gonna learn how to take care of it myself. I'm tired of spending all this money for wigs, what have you. I'm gonna learn how to take care of it myself. I wasn't using enough product on my hair. Now, like I said, depending on your hair type, you might could get away with a dime size amount of uh, leave-in whenever, or whatever product you're using whenever you're doing your hair for your whole head. A dime size amount might get me halfway down my hair shaft. Like, and I'm gonna have to go back in again and make sure I'm tending to my ends and really getting that product on there. You wanna really make sure that you're moisturizing your hair. Do not be afraid. See, my biggest fear was, oh, I'm not gonna put a whole bunch of product in there because I don't wanna weigh my hair down. Girl, moisturize that hair. Moisturize it, yeah. So these were my top tips. I'm not putting a number on there. Like I said before, these are my top tips to growing your hair healthier. Healthier hair is the key to longer hair. So it's about getting it healthy first and then the length will grace you as time goes on. But these are my tips on how to get your hair healthier and longer and retaining your length to get the results that you're looking for. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know down in the comments. Let me know what other type of videos you guys would want me to post. And I hope you enjoy. See you in my next video.